In this week's Wildlife News Brief, we set a few internet myths to rest, great news for migratory species, toxic toad-eating snakes, and a newborn baby pangolin. Get these stories and more in your two-minute roundup of nature news. It took a week of intense negotiations, but after this year's CMS meeting in Ecuador, 31 species of migratory animals, including polar bears and a record number of sharks and rays, and other ocean dwellers have won protected status under an international wildlife conservation treaty. In more ocean news, the web is abuzz with worry after reports surfaced finding Fukushima fallout off the coast of California. Expert Dr. Kim Martini reminds us that these levels are 1,000 times less than the EPA's safe drinking water standards. There is nothing to panic about. Discovery Channel's newest venture, Eaten Alive, has caused a similar fuss. You can sleep easy. In reality, it would be extremely difficult to get an anaconda to eat anyone. Find out why on EarthTouchNews.com. In more snake news, a scientist in Virginia has discovered that to arm their babies against would-be predators, tiger keelback snakes have a trick up their sleeves, eating toxic toads. The mothers lace their eggs and yolks with a toxin, giving the young a chemical defense. Snakes aren't the only animals with new party tricks this week. We knew lyrebirds were sound-mimicking masters, but this guy is particularly talented. Laser fire? Check. Off to Africa and the facepalm of the week. A plant named after the Congo's Luama Katanga Reserve is now endangered because government officials incorrectly mapped the reserve, placing it 50 kilometers from where it actually is. This is bad news for chimpanzees on the premises as well. Speaking of bad news, canine distemper, an often fatal viral disease that has taken its toll on wild lions, now threatens to wipe out Siberian tigers. The big cats most likely caught the disease from eating infected dogs or other carnivores in the Russian wilderness. Experts are working to contain it. We're wrapping up with a double whammy of rare zooborns. The Audubon Zoo in New Orleans welcomed its first ever birth of critically endangered false gharials. And brace yourself for this one. Staff at Taiwan's Taipei Zoo is working around the clock to hand rear a critically endangered baby pangolin. Best job ever? We think so. Want to read more about the stories in the roundup? Check out the links in the video descriptions. Until next time, we'll see you on the website, Facebook, and Twitter.